all right today i'm gonna show you how to bypass the seat switch on the seat pressure switch on a troy built riding lawnmower this is the bronco edition uh the reason why i'm doing this is because i looked on the internet and couldn't find anything about this particular model uh, so i had to figure it out myself how i come across this was a buddy of mine uh, who's in the military is PCS into Okinawa so I'm not gonna leave, need a ride along more over there uh, he's gonna be a military housing so uh, he let me have it for free uh, what a great guy because uh, I do have a yard to mow uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how to uh, replace this to, to uh, bypass the seat switch so that way you can hop on and off everybody's got stuff in their yard to trying to to pick up as they mow if you got kids like I do tennis balls and frisbees and soccer balls are all in the yard and, and sometimes you don't think about picking those up before you get on a lawnmower so uh, what I have here I'm gonna switch over all right the pressure switch is located underneath the seat right here and you're, so you're gonna need to remove the seat to get to that switch easily easily done as you you know you flip the seat up here you've got one mounting bolt here just unscrew it you got this this uh, spacer here well not a spacer but it locks the seat into a specific seat height you want and then once you have that off what you're gonna do is you're gonna just slide the seat down so that way it comes off and you can access your switch what you do is you just press in on both sides pull down kind of work it out of there and there you go there's your switch so what you can do is you could put like a zip tie around it pressing it in you could try and jump the wires you can try and jump these wires right here but hey just simple simplicity purposes have the uh, the button depressed and and you can either put it back or you can put it uh, you know zip tie it down underneath the the chassis somewhere so it's out of the way uh, so I'm gonna do that now okay so what I've done here is I've taken a piece of hard plastic put it over the button and zip tied it down it's pretty secure in there um, you, you had to do it this way had to do it this way because of uh, you know I still want I still need my plug to plug in and what I'm going to do, instead of having to find somewhere to, to zip tie it or hold it out of the way, I'm just going to put it, could put it back in its spot, like so. Just, just hold it, that way it's held in there. And just, just mount the seat back. What this is going to do, this is going to allow you to hop on and off the lawnmower while, and, and keep it running. So that way you don't have to continually start it and burn out your starter or the starter solenoid or your battery. Um, just, a, just a simple way to, uh, to, to, to bypass that seat pressure switch. Alright, uh, if you like what you see, uh, subscribe. I do many different types of videos. Uh, subscribe and, and like this.